there are times when I can be wrong. And it's usually because I, I pull the trigger. I jump the gun too much, too far, and too quick on a, on a topic I feel passionate about. Kind of, It's kind of like arguing without really having any evidence, right? That's pretty much what I did here. And I want to apologize. I was wrong about Supergirl. You thought I was going to say Trails of Cold Steel 2? Fuck no. Terrible game. No. Mediocre game. Still mediocre. Terrible at best. Terrible at worst. See my video. I drink the salt of my enemies. No, uh, Supergirl was... Supergirl was... <sighs> Supergirl had potential. I always say potential. But, boy, I tried... I. I really did I really did try to watch that TV show. And if you remember in my Supergirl impressions video, I had I had said that I'm going to try and watch the entire season in about a week and on Monday I'll come back and I'll have a video for you about what I think of the season. I didn't even get past the episode I was on. It was maybe the third or fourth episode. And I and I even said in my last video I had not even seen the entire season or gotten halfway through it or even a quarter of the way through it. I was like, I really don't want to watch that show anymore. I really don't want to do it, man. Uh, it's, it's painful to watch. It's hella cringy. It's way cringier than I thought. I can't even, I thought that, I thought that the cringiness, the, the pandering, the feminist pandering would go away. It really doesn't. It really doesn't whatsoever. And not, not to just absolutely hate on the TV show, because I do think that there are some parts of the TV show that are great. Uh... Ironically, the parts where she is, where she's in costume, where she's wearing the Supergirl costume, she's great. Even when she's out of the costume, I actually like her. I even said that she was adorable, right? Because there are some things that she does that make her as cute and as cuddly as a kitten, right? But every other character, I can't, but maybe besides the black, the black uh, the black guy that owns the special operations forces, special operation forces. Maybe he's the only other interesting character. Other than that, man, it just I'm 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 dead on the inside. Whenever I watch that TV show, I'm like, I could be doing anything else. I could be sleeping. I could be eating. I could be watching better TV shows. I could be doing anything else. But I'm here watching Supergirl. Testing my willpower with this TV show. But I was wrong. Um, I don't think... I, I'm i never going to say... I'm never going to recommend something to you. Or I'm never going to try and force you to do something that I can't do. So I can't recommend this TV show. If I can't even watch two to three episodes of it. And it just... It gets very cringeworthy esque And... It's, it starts, I'm trying to remember the TV show, it was Quantico. Quantico, I could, I cannot recommend that TV show for you either, because Quantico, it had a lot of, it had a lot of very interesting stuff to it. It had a kind of like a murder mystery with, uh, with the terrorism plot. It had all of these very unique characters. It, it was kind of like playing a game of Clue in TV, right? Unfortunately, they had all the, all, they had all of this stuff kind of thrushed it at you uh, at the beginning of the TV show that it was like, all right, you have all of this information presented to you that you don't really know what to do with, right? Then the second episode kind of shows you what that information is about. The main character is in love with with a guy and the director of the uh, of like the academy that she was at is in love with her and this other girl is in love with this other guy and it's like why did it just have to turn into love like that supergirl does the exact same thing like she likes this photographer 
that comes from Metropolis. And I'm like, I can already see like the entire season just playing out to her being very timid. And it's just, it's one of those things that it's like every single TV show does it where I just, I, I just don't like it how every single TV show does this like timid act where it's like, yeah, these two people should be together. Just get to fucking, we don't have all day. We don't have like 20 episodes. We don't have 20, 40 minute long episodes to watch to see you two kind of prance around and not have the common courtesy to just get it over with. We're all waiting in anticipation for you two to make out already. And it's pretty much like that with Supergirl. I cannot wait for them to get together. And how, I'm just curious, how would that even work? That's like the same, she's invulnerable, right? How does that even work? I. I'm just racking my my brain just trying to think about that. But, I mean, I I can't recommend Supergirl to you. There are parts there are parts of it that I liked. But, overall, I felt like I was wasting my time. I felt like it was going nowhere. That it could not go anywhere. The main actress is adorable. I don't have a crush on her. I do, actually. She's she's absolutely... She looks like she's, like, 13 years old. She she looks... She acts like she's 13 and she looks 20. And she... Mm, mm, mm. She just... She's... I, I don't... I'm, I'm kind of just treating her like a piece of meat right now. But, I mean, seriously, though, when she actually puts on the costume, she looks fantastic. And even when she's out at it. I, I shouldn't even say that anymore. I should just get to the point. Don't see, don't watch Supergirl. It's utter annoyance. With that, I will leave you with this. Did any of you actually see Supergirl? You know, did did any of you like it? Am I the only one? Am I? Is it because I just can't see it? Does it get better? Does it get better at around episode 10 or 12 or whatever? Do I need to power through it? Which I will not. Is, is the ending any good, like with the first season of The Flash, how, uh, <clears throat> how it kind of just led up to everything that happened in the second season and even t in the third season? Is it good towards the end? Because I, I might just skip ahead and, see, and, and just bypass all of the filler episodes to be able to see uh, what happens at the end of the TV show. With that, I'll leave you with that. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. This has been 24. Have a fantastic day. Don't watch Supergirl. She is not the Man of Steel, unfortunately.